Bitcoin mining being fueled by solar power, a new Hollywood movie about blockchain, and is China going to change its tune on cryptocurrency? Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you hit the subscribe and also notifications buttons so you don't miss an episode. I'm Edward and we're going to be bringing you the news from the world of cryptocurrency now three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays and also Thursdays. If you're in Los Angeles, each episode will be live at 2 p.m. your time. If you're in New York, it'll be a 5 p.m. start time for you. And if you're across the pond in London, it'll be a 10 p.m. launch time for the episode. Enjoy today's show. Cryptocurrency miners have been trying to lower their costs since the advent of Bitcoin. Due to the current adverse cryptocurrency market conditions, this endeavor has become increasingly critical. Consequently, some miners are now using solar energy to run their mining operations. Now, mining Bitcoin with renewable energy is more prevalent than previously thought. In November of 2018, CoinShares Research published a white paper that examined trends, cost, and energy consumption of Bitcoin mining. Now, according to the authors of the study, it shows that most Bitcoin mining occurs in global regions containing available resources of renewable energy. Moreover, the report highlights that about 80% of mining is actually powered by renewable energy. The use of solar panels is becoming increasingly more cost effective over standard electricity. Could this be the future of mining in the crypto world? Ripple has announced that it will launch a $100 million fund in collaboration with Forte, a San Francisco-based startup that is aiming to leverage economic models of blockchain systems to build better economies and marketplaces in the gaming industry. Now, Forte will oversee the fund that will be allocated towards the integration of blockchain technology with game markets and will allow players to make transactions with each other more conveniently. Now, in the past, users have often moved to third-party platforms to sell in-game items. Several projects and initiatives have been undertaken already, including Engine Token, which will be available on the Samsung Galaxy S10 and Tron's $100 million funding of the gaming industry. Let's see what dividends are produced from this partnership. Bae Young Joon, arguably the most influential and widely recognized actor in South Korea, featured in films like Winter Sonata and The Legend, invested in a local crypto startup called Seaman. Now, Seaman is co-founded by Norway-based Ocean Supreme, the most dominant company in the Japanese salmon market. Ocean Supreme exports sashimi-quality salmon from Norway to Japan, generating about $150 million a year in annual turnover. This is purely just from salmon sales. Now, the publication exclusive reported that Bay reached out to the company to participate as an advisor and later asked to invest in this actual project. The company said it cannot reveal the amount invested by the actor, but Bay has said that he invested well over $100,000 in this particular project. Let's see the effect that this has in the Korean crypto market. On the 11th of March 2019, a trailer for an upcoming thriller called Crypto was released, directed by John Stahlberg Jr. and produced by Jordan Yale Levine and Jordan Beckerman. The movie will focus on the criminal possibilities with cryptocurrencies, which are impossible with hard cash. The story is related to young agent Martin, his character is played by B.A. Knapp, who works on Wall Street as an anti-money laundering executive and has been tasked with investigating a difficult web of corruption and fraud in New York. Now, according to IMDb, among other famous names involved in the movie are Kurt Russell, who plays Martin's father, Luke Hemsworth, Alexis Bedell, and Vincent Kothizer. From the trailer, the tagline of which is, fear is the ultimate currency, is quite a difficult piece to plot together. However, it is clear that the idea behind the movie is to demonstrate that virtual currencies are often used for tools for criminals and bad players in the economy. Who knows what effect this will have on public opinion in the world of cryptocurrency. China's regulatory environment surrounding the cryptocurrency industry has been very harsh in the past, with outright bans on exchanges, crypto trading, ICOs, and more. 
However, the communist country has now just introduced an anti-autonomy regulation to enable orderly development of blockchain industry. While regulatory developments are being made, they appear to be on the stricter side of things, enabling the government to remain in control of these actions. In fact, according to the Chinese news outlet Securities Daily, Chinese legislative delegates and political advisors are calling for clear and strict crypto regulations during China's ongoing two sessions, the largest political meeting of the year. Now, if China enters into the world of cryptocurrency, this will change everything from the number of projects on the go, the size of the projects on the go, and of course, the potential billion people to join the world of cryptocurrency. Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you have any thoughts or questions on this particular video or cryptocurrency more generally, just drop us a line in the comments below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy. Thank you.